The Journey of Jesus, Exploring the Concept of I Stand Alone. Standing Firm, Jesus and the Paradox of Solitude. The human experience is a tapestry woven with threads of connection and isolation. In a world that often emphasizes the power of community and the strength found in unity, the concept of standing alone may seem counterintuitive or even undesirable. However, throughout history, there have been figures who, through their actions and teachings, embody the essence of independence and resilience. Among them stands Jesus Christ, whose life and message continue to inspire and challenge individuals across the globe. Kindly subscribe to my channel, like comments, thanks. This exploration delves into the profound significance of the phrase, I stand alone within the context of Jesus' life, teachings, and ultimate sacrifice. Drawing upon biblical wisdom and reflection, we embark on a journey to understand the depth of this concept and its relevance to our lives today. Colossians 1, 1, 29. Christ, the cornerstone of community. Colossians 1 paints a magnificent portrait of Christ as the preeminent force in creation and the foundation of the church. Here Jesus isn't a lone figure, but the unifying element that binds all believers together. The Foundation of Faith, Colossians 1, 1, 29. The passage from Colossians provides a foundational understanding of Jesus Christ as the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. It emphasizes His supremacy and the reconciliation He brings through His death and resurrection. In this, we find the starting point of our exploration, recognizing Jesus as the cornerstone of our faith. Colossians 1.15.20 emphasizes Christ's role as the firstborn over all creation and the one in whom all things hold together. This establishes Jesus as the cornerstone, the essential element that gives the church structure and purpose. Colossians 1.24 speaks of the church as Christ's body, a beautiful metaphor for interconnection and shared purpose. The paradox emerges, Deuteronomy 31.6, 1 Corinthians 15.58 and 2 Timothy 2.15, Strength in Solitude, Deuteronomy 31, 6 NIV. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. This verse from Deuteronomy reassures us of God's constant presence and support, even in moments of solitude or isolation. Jesus, during his earthly ministry, often sought solitude for prayer and communion with God. His ability to stand alone was rooted in his unwavering connection to the Father. However, the concept of I stand alone emerges in other biblical passages. Deuteronomy 31, 6 offers encouragement. Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Here God's presence is emphasized, but so is the call for individual strength and courage. 2 Timothy 2.15 encourages Timothy to do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. Here the focus is on individual effort and striving for God's approval. Jesus, the model of strength and dependence, knowledge and diligence. 2 Timothy 2.15, NIV. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. This verse highlights the importance of diligence and dedication in our pursuit of spiritual growth and understanding. Jesus, from a young age, demonstrated a deep knowledge of Scripture and a commitment to fulfilling God's purpose. His example challenges us to diligently seek wisdom and truth, standing firm in our convictions. Love is the ultimate foundation, Colossians 3.14. And over all these virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Love serves as the overarching principle that binds together all aspects of our faith and practice. Jesus' entire ministry was a testament to love, love for God, love for humanity, and love even for those who persecuted Him. His sacrificial love transcends boundaries and inspires us to embrace compassion and empathy in our interactions with others. Conclusion as we conclude our exploration of the concept of I stand alone within the framework of Jesus' life and teachings, we are reminded of the profound depth and richness of His example. Jesus stood alone, not out of pride or self-sufficiency, 
but out of an unwavering commitment to His divine purpose and an unshakable trust in the Father. In our own lives, we may encounter moments where we feel isolated or misunderstood, where the path ahead seems daunting and uncertain. Yet like Jesus, we can draw strength from our relationship with God, knowing that His presence sustains us and His love empowers us to persevere. May we, inspired by the example of Jesus Christ, stand firm in our faith, endure with courage, seek wisdom diligently, and above all, embody the transformative power of love in all that we do. For in Him we find the ultimate source of strength, hope, and redemption. Amen. Thank you for joining us on this exploration, The Full Life of Jesus. I stand alone. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and hit that subscribe button. And turn on the notification bell on for more thought-provoking content. As always, feel free to leave your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Until next time, stay curious. These seemingly contradictory messages illuminate a crucial aspect of faith. Authentic connection with God fosters personal strength. Examining Jesus' life reveals this paradox in action. Jesus' ministry of service. Throughout his ministry, Jesus built a community of disciples, emphasizing love, forgiveness, and service to others. This stands in stark contrast to the concept of solitary isolation. The Last Supper The Last Supper, a shared meal with his disciples, highlights the importance of fellowship and connection in Jesus' life. Gethsemane Yet in the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus faced his most significant challenge alone. He prayed, my Father, if it is possible, may this cup be removed from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. Matthew 26, 39. This moment signifies the burden he carried alone, a profound act of courage and faith. Colossians 3, 14, and the power of love. Colossians 3, 14 presents a beautiful resolution to this seeming paradox. Above all, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Love, the central theme of Jesus' teachings, becomes the bridge between individual strength and communal connection. Endurance and Perseverance, 1 Corinthians 15.58 NIV Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. This verse encourages believers to stand firm in their faith, and persevere in their commitment to God's work. Jesus exemplified this endurance throughout his life, facing opposition, rejection, and ultimately the cross. His unwavering resolve serves as a beacon of hope for all who encounter trials and tribulations. Standing Firm – Lessons from Jesus Here's what we can learn from Jesus' approach. Strength through dependence. A strong connection with God empowers us to face challenges with courage and resilience. The power of community. Faith is not meant to be a solitary pursuit. Surrounding ourselves with a supportive community strengthens our commitment and provides encouragement. Finding balance. There will be times when solitude is necessary for reflection and introspection. However, this solitude should strengthen our connection with God and ultimately draw us closer to our community. Love is the binding force. Love for God and love for others forms the core of authentic faith. This love fosters a sense of unity and belonging, dissolving the illusion of isolation. 